Overview The aircraft is fitted with an overheat detection system to prevent damage following a leak in the air supply system. The protected areas are the engine pylons, parts of the wing leading edges, the wing trailing edges, the fuselage spine, the tail plane, and the air conditioning bay. Depending on the location of the leak, automatic isolation of the affected area may occur. Avionic cooling air is drawn over a smoke detector to warn of electrical smoke or fire in the avionics bay. If an animal bay is fitted, warning of smoke in the bay is given on the flight deck. Introduction The engine pylons are divided into two zones. Zone 1 is the area from the engine customer bleed port to the pre-cooler. Zone 2 is the area between the pre-cooler and the rear of the pylon. The areas of the aircraft through which hot air is ducted are divided into two zones. The left zone includes Pylon 1 Zone 2, Pylon 2 Zone 2, the left wing trailing and leading edges, and the left side of the spine. The right zone includes Pylon 3 Zone 2, Pylon 4 Zone 2, the right wing trailing and leading edges, and the right side of the spine. Pylon overheat. A hot air leak in any pylon zone 1 will illuminate the respective pylon overheat enunciator on the central warning panel. The fire warning light in the respective thrust lever will also light. The leak is detected by a temperature switch in each pylon operating at 195 degrees Celsius. A leak detected in this zone may be before or after the engine air valve. If the leak is after the engine air valve, closing the valve will stop the leak. If the leak is before the engine air valve, the leak can only be stopped by shutting the engine down. Left or right zone high temperature. Air can only enter the left or right zones through the engine air valves or the APU air valve. If tail anti-ice is being used, it is also possible for air to transfer from the opposite zone through the tail anti-ice valves. An overheat detected in either the left or right zones will illuminate left zone high temp or right zone high temp on the air supplies panel. The two engine air valves on the affected side will automatically close when an overheat condition is detected. If open, the tail anti-ice valve and the wing ice protection valves on the affected side will close. The APU air valve will close. The leak will be isolated from all bleed air supplies and the temperature sensor will reset. However, the fault enunciator will remain lit. 
Temperature switches are located in pylon zone 2, the wing leading edges, and the spine, and are set to operate at 120 degrees Celsius. The temperature switches only operate effectively in enclosed cavities. Due to the exposure of the hot air ducts to atmosphere along the wing trailing edges, particularly when the flaps are extended, two parallel overheat detector loops, A and B, are installed on each wing. Selection of loop A, loop B, or both loops for each wing is made by the zone temp detect switches marked left wing and right wing on the air supply panel. The loops are normally selected to both. In this position, both loops must detect an overheat before any indication is given. Each loop may be tested using the zone loop A and zone loop B buttons on the ground test panel. If a loop failure is detected before takeoff, the serviceable loop may be selected to allow dispatch. Which areas of the aircraft form the left or right zone? air conditioning bay overheat. At the base of the tail, air supplies are directed into the air conditioning bay to the air conditioning packs. An overheat condition caused by a duct leak in the air conditioning bay will be indicated by rear bay high temp on the air conditioning panel. Temperature switches are located next to each pack and the system may be tested using the rear bay high temp button on the ground test panel. Tail high temperature. At the rear of the spine, air is directed through the tail anti-ice valves for tail ice protection. If a leak is detected in the tail section, the tail high temp annunciator on the ice protection panel will illuminate and both tail anti-ice valves will close automatically. A leak detected in this area may be before or after the tail anti-ice valves. If the leak is after the valves, their automatic closure will stop the leak. If the leak is before the valves, the leak can only be stopped by switching off the engine air supplies. Electrical smoke Two AC-powered cooling fans are located in the forward cargo compartment. Air from the fans is exhausted into a cavity in the front cargo compartment, past a smoke detector and overboard through the forward discharge valve. If smoke is detected, electrical smoke will illuminate on the central warning panel. The smoke detector may be tested 
using the smoke button on the ground test panel. Animal smoke. If the aircraft has an animal bay, it is fitted with a smoke detector. If smoke is detected, the animal bay air vents are closed automatically and animal smoke will illuminate on the central warning panel. Pre-flight. Before the AC bus bars are powered, the smoke detector is tested by pressing the smoke test button. Electrical smoke and animal smoke, if fitted, will light on the central warning panel while the button is pressed. The overheat detector loops in the wing trailing edge should be tested with both air conditioning packs 1 and packs 2 and APU air switched off. The left zone temp detect and right zone temp detect switches on the air supply panel must be set to both. Zone loops A test button should be pressed briefly and then released. Zone loops B test button should be pressed briefly and then released. Because both zone temp detect switches are set to both loops, there should be no left zone high temp or right zone high temp warning when each loop is tested individually. The Zone A and Zone B test buttons should then be pressed simultaneously. Both Left Zone High Temp and Right Zone High Temp on the Air Supply Panel and the Air Supply Annunciator on the Central Warning Panel will illuminate. When the test buttons are released, all warnings should extinguish. The air conditioning bay overheat warning should be tested by pressing and holding the rear bay high temp button on the ground test panel. Rear bay high temp on the air conditioning panel and the air conditioning annunciator on the central warning panel will illuminate. Pre-flight checks. Complete the pre-flight checks by working through the instructions on the following pages. Check that electrical smoke and animal smoke illuminate on the central warning panel when the smoke test button is pressed. Check that both air conditioning packs 1 and packs 2 are switched off. Check that the left zone temp detect and right zone temp detect switches are set to both and APU air is switched off.
check that when the Zone Loops A test button is pressed, there is no warning. Check that when the Zone Loops B test button is pressed, there is no warning. Check that when the Zone A and Zone B test buttons are pressed simultaneously, both Left Zone High Temp and Right Zone High Temp illuminate on the air supply panel. Check that the air supply annunciator on the central warning panel also illuminates when the Zone A and Zone B buttons are pressed simultaneously. Release the Zone A and Zone B test buttons and check that all warnings extinguish. Check that Rear Bay High Temp on the air conditioning panel and Air Conditioning on the central warning panel illuminate when the rear bay high temp test button is pressed. Pylon overheat a pylon overheat warning indicates a temperature above 195 degrees Celsius in pylon zone 1. It may be possible to isolate the leak by closing the relevant engine air valve. If the auto throttle is in use, it should be disconnected to allow the relevant thrust lever to be retarded to idle. If pylon overheat extinguishes, engine operation may be continued, but use of thrust should be restricted to prevent the warning recurring. If pylon overheat remains lit, the leak must be upstream of the engine air valve and the engine must be shut down by selecting the relevant thrust lever to fuel off. Zone high temperature. Following an over temperature in either the left or right zones, both the engine air valves on the relevant side of the aircraft and the APU air valve, if selected open, will close automatically. If wing and tail anti-ice is selected on at the time of failure, both wing anti-ice valves and the tail valve on the relevant side will close. Following a left or right zone high temp warning, both the engine air switches on the relevant side and APU air should be selected to off. Due to the loss of ice protection on the affected wing, icing conditions should be avoided or left as soon as possible. Asymmetric airframe icing must be minimized. Tail high temperature. An over temperature in the tail section will illuminate tail high temp. Both tail anti ice valves will automatically close. Tail anti ice should be selected off 
to extinguish the tail valve nips indications. If tail high temp remains lit, air is still leaking into the tail area. In order to isolate the leak, engine air 1 and engine air 2 should be switched off. If the warning remains lit, they should be switched back on and engine air 3 and engine air 4 should be switched off.